So I'm about to show you guys a scalping strategy that's literally gonna take your small trading account from here and take it to the heaven. This scalping strategy is easy to follow. If you can't learn from this strategy that I'm about to show you guys, then look, I probably can't help you. This is literally one of the easiest scalping strategies out there. Literally as easy as one, two, three. Look, when I first started trading, I wanted a scalping strategy that would actually work. This one works. I love my day trading, but this scalping strategy is brilliant to add to your arsenal. You can literally use the strategy and run the money every single single time look the banks are going there anyway so why not just jump on board and run that liquidity anyway you feel me so guys let's get straight into the video i can't wait to share this with you guys right now let's go so i'm on gbp usd right now i'm going to put on some annotations just to help you guys navigate around what is happening and on what days it's a new week this line here where it says nw i'm just basically saying it's a new week and these are the new days so this is the next day and the next day and so on and so forth price rises for the week he's making higher highs and higher lows at this point and then eventually it gets to tuesday wednesday where they create these relative equal highs you guys know what's up there you guys know what this is intended to do it's intended to make people think that price is going to the downside because it's a double top when they run higher this is to obviously take these early sellers out so this is them running out liquidity so liquidity is going to be up here stop losses up here and so they're running out liquidity not only that when they trade above this high anyone who's doing breakout buying gets activated into their buy orders and then what happens after that then price drops stopping those guys out they're gonna have a stop loss anywhere within the top of the range to this very low and so price stops them out yes we've been making high highs and high lows until we get to this point where we make a higher high a higher low and we make another higher high but then this time we drop beneath this low and that's the key thing the moment price drops beneath this low over here, that's your sign to be of a bearish mindset. And then you have to start thinking, so where is the liquidity? Now you have to start looking at the opposite side for liquidity. I'm just gonna mark up all these spots of liquidity. So you have a low here, you have another low right here. You have more lows along the way, but I'm just gonna mark up one and you have this one over here. And Wednesday, this is where the scalping strategy comes into effect. So like I said, there's gonna be money resting beneath all these different lows. So I'm just gonna put the money sign here real quick. I've got my liquidity points and so the reason these are liquidity points is because when price was making high highs and high lows when people saw this they would have put their stop loss beneath the previous low or the current low and so that means there's going to be stop losses in this area beneath this low all these different lows are going to be stop losses and then one key thing to note about this is you see these lows these lows are really close together they're not relative equal lows these might be relative equal lows these lows are really close together so whenever i see lows that are that close together i tend to take out both of them Just to show you how close they are they're about 17 pips away from each other so it's at this point where i get active because not only price has traded beneath this low over here telling me that price wants to go lower but look how close they are to these lows now they would not come down to this low here after taking out this low if they don't want to run it out and so this is where i start to look for a scalping opportunity and the reason i wasn't in from these highs is because i was really busy for the whole morning and so i couldn't get active with any trade so this is why i had to get active towards the end of my trading day so when it comes to time it doesn't just end here when you run out of liquidity there's always something that you need to look for that could potentially turn price around and so in my scenario what i was looking for was i was looking for something beneath this low i'm not saying it was going to stop here but this is just where i was looking to take my tp and so beneath these lows what do i see i see imbalance right here so this is my imbalance so from this kind of six wick to that kind of six wick low price did not trade into each other and so when price came back down it filled it in just a little bit and then it took off so now i'm looking at what is the initial thing that's beneath these lows over here and what i found was the imbalance and so whenever i get something like this this is how i would play it i would look for a scalping opportunity to run this money into the very highest point of the imbalance because i'm not going to be messing around with and playing around with the imbalance this was broken down live for my scalping course you want to get involved in that the link will be at the top of my description it's currently 50 percent off for the rest of october so now you all know what my draw on price is this is my draw on price but now it's just time for me to look about getting an entry for this trade so let's go ahead and break that down for you so what i'm doing here is i'm looking for a potential entry price does not give me a good enough entry to jump in yet well i didn't see it at the time my stop loss would have been too big and i wasn't happy to take that trade and so i never took it i know people like to just jump in just whenever they see any kind of setup but look this one wasn't favorable for me and so i just didn't take it that's going to come with some time and experience in a game you're going to learn what trades are best to take and what trades are not best to take if you see this whole up close candle here this whole stop loss would have been roughly about 30 pips <laughs> And your boy's not doing no favorite stop loss. That was back in the retail days when I had no idea what I was doing. So I looked for the next entry. 
So now I'm on a one minute time frame and I'm looking for an entry. There's nothing here that's telling me that price could potentially reverse off apart from this institutional candle here. But like I said with the previous one, the stop loss would have been way too big for me. And so I said, no, I'm not taking this trade. Patience is needed in this game because I could have jumped in and there might have been decent plays for you guys. It wasn't a decent play for me. So I just kept on looking for a next point of interest. And don't forget, we still haven't hit that imbalance yet. And so I'm not worried about missing out on some of this push down lower. See, like I said here, no good entry there. But this is where I'm looking to get active now. We've not run out that second low. I get active the moment price trades up into this area of inefficiency. So this is my area of inefficiency. I get active near about to fulfill and I put my stop loss at this high. And then I want to hit play real quick, just a little bit more to show you guys what happened here. So you can see, look, price, price tapped into the imbalance here, moved away, but then eventually came up to tag me in. Now I'm going to go ahead and play that clip for you. Right, guys, I'm currently waiting for price to tap into this imbalance over here. Technically, it has tapped it. As you can see, look, there was imbalance between this kind of six wick over here and that one over there. And it has tapped it in over here, but I still want price to trade it into this just a little bit more. In this scenario, I could have entered at the very open. It was only literally uh three pips different but we'll wait and see how that goes um when it comes to tps we also have a down close candle here so really truly we can take it right down to this level over here for a very juicy trade but first we want to see price run out this liquidity which is about to do so and then we want to see it trade into something that requires them to mitigate their position so this down close candle here and just to show you guys how that looks like let's go to the five minute time frame so this is that five minute time frame. You can see what I've got going on now. This is my down close candle here. We also have a little bit of an imbalance down here, which is also something I'm gonna target as well. We were tagged in at this imbalance over here and now we're gonna target the downside. So you just saw me playing my entry clip. And like I said, I was aiming for the very highest point of this imbalance over here. And so now I'm gonna hit play one more time to show you guys how it played out. There we go, right there. This is where it goes straight into our era of inefficiency. From when I jumped into the trade, which was on this wick, till this point, that was roughly about 12 minutes. So it's vitally important to take your partial profits. Never leave a full position unless you're trying to do some kind of almighty swing trade. But always remember to take partials when price is running out liquidity. So just like I did, then you let the runner do the legwork. And what I mean by that is you let the rest of the trade run. And I also recorded myself closing this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you right now so you guys can see it live for yourself. The price literally just smashed this level here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close off 80% of this trade right now. So now I've closed off 80%, I'm gonna take the rest of that position right down to that level that I specified. We hit TP. And so just to show you guys, 50 minute time frame. Like I said, in the 50 minute time frame, we was going to hit this imbalance. We've gone ahead and done that. But check out the executions real quick. There we go, you can see this is where I jumped in, right at the high, right at the wick. So literally like no drawdown. This is where I took my first partials right here of 80%. And then this is where I closed the rest of the position when price got down to this level right here.